We're starting off the show with home decor piece so unique, you've probably never even heard of it. Thrifters and antique seekers are reusing and repurposing tobacco baskets as wall art. They provide a cool vibe in any space with their uneven weaves and unique texture and dramatic color. Melanie Miner with the shop to market is here to show us how she is embracing this trend. So Melanie, before we get too far, tell us a little bit about what is a tobacco basket? So a tobacco basket were basically baskets that hold big tobacco leaves. And they, they originally did from Kentucky, so they would put the big leaves in there and they'd actually strap up the leaves and then hang the baskets to have them dry and then they just stack the baskets to ship out. So these really were such a functional yes. piece. And when you yes. look at them, you can see how they would function in that way. Are yeah. most of these that you brought in today are they vintage or vintage inspired? We only what do we have, have here? one vintage. They're pretty hard to find. I was going to say, that's <laughs> been a long time since this was yeah. happening in Kentucky. And we don't I'm live guessing. in the South. Yeah. Right? So I think in the South you'd find a whole bunch of them, but being in Utah, there's not tobacco. So, <laughs> right, right. Hard so, to so we'll look at that. Yeah. So you did bring the one and it yes. is pretty impressive. It's really large. Yes. It's this one at the back and yes. you've used it in a really fun display. But yeah. this is the, was this kind of the original size? Yeah, Were things this at this is the scale? original size. So they're pretty large and most of them will have like a rope on them because they were hung. So they have a cool rope and the slats, most of them are pretty banged up and broken up because these things, things have been used. used. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Used so. as a functioning thing. They weren't used as decor back in the day, right? No, They're probably no. laughing that we're using these as decor <laughs> now, right? <laughs> but they just bring so much interest and, and just warmth to a room that I think people are just really drawn to them and really love having them on their walls. Yeah, and I know you and I have talked about this before, but kind of that natural wood look is so huge yeah. right now. Yeah. And this is a way to incorporate it. Yeah. So this is a really fun use of it. Let's yeah. walk through some of these vintage okay. inspired that you brought. So this... This yeah. is just another way to display another it. Another way to display it. Just putting just some simple greens in them and just putting it on your coffee table is a really fun way to display them. They have, and they also come in different shapes. So you have, you have rectangle ones and you can have square ones, bigger, smaller. You can even do like a bigger one and a smaller one kind of lined up together. How and fun. Yeah, so yeah. if you have something in mind, like greens that you already have greens, in your house, or yes. fruit, or you know fruit your table is only this big, yeah. so you can really get something you that's going to be that's gonna, that's gonna be the right size. Yeah. Okay, and yeah. how are people using these? How are people displaying these in their homes? So a lot, a lot of people are putting them on their tables, like for trays, for different kinds of um, different things like that. And then just basically like How fun, so we're seeing a coffee them. table tray. Yeah, hanging them, bedroom. giving just some interest and kind of a conversation piece. Like people are like, what, what is that? You know, yeah. it has such a cool geometric shape to it as well that I think people are really drawn to it. Yeah, so, that is really fun. Yeah, um, it's fun. We, I do have, I have an antique, um, baguette cutter and uh -huh. this little oh, bread board that was so fun that my mom had from years and years ago and we've hung it in our house but people always do it's a great piece for yes. conversation yes yes you kind of want to come in and say what is this thing because it's not what we're used to seeing exactly and i really like with this one to display your art a lot of people have this just canvas art this was actually painted by my friend in morgan Marilee Eslin, and she is such a great artist, and she has this hanging in her home. I went and stole it from her. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, I love I'm gonna it. take that. So just to even frame your art, like people don't think you have these canvases, frame it. Put it in there, and yeah. that is fun. What a statement piece, and especially because of the scale and everything yes. else. Yeah. So fun. Now, if we're going to look for one of these, what do you recommend? What should we look for? Well, decide if you want to have a vintage one or a vintage inspired. If you're, if you're okay with it being broken up, Go with a vintage one. If, and then if you're more, I want it to be more of a sleek, cleaner look, then go with a vintage inspired. So don't be afraid to go with a vintage yeah. inspired. And, and, um, and look at these different ways to display. So where do you recommend if you're looking for a true vintage, where can people find these? You know, these? They're, pretty, they're pretty hard to find here in Utah. We had a few at our store. They're gone. Oh, sure. People loved them <laughs> Too so late, much. people. So oh. hopefully we'll be getting some more in because we have to kind of search for them as well. Um, but but we have all of these in our store, the vintage inspired ones, and they range from like eighty to a hundred dollars depending on the size and the shape of them. Okay, so, so get yeah. ready to spend that much and then come yeah. in. Tell us where people can find you. We are on Main Street in Kaysville. Our our store is called Two Market. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks so much. Always great to have you. Thank you.